all right guys let's do this uh, given a string is find out the length of the longest repeating substring or substrings there could be multiple okay yeah but in any case the length would be highest return 0 also we have to just return the length and not the substring so return 0 if no repeating substring exists hmm okay so it has to be repeating that is the first criteria and then you have to see which one is the longest in which so a b c d nothing is repeating a b at least a is repeating another time right a b uh, is also repeating again a b uh, then b b doesn't repeat b a also repeats so two uh, yeah it's a is repeating then you check a b a b is repeating a b c is repeating as long as you can find one we can go ahead to the next window right that is the good thing the so one it will always be there yeah a b c a b c re repeating uh, not here so a b c has come here then we check again a b c a b c a a b c a repeats no b c a no c a b no we go through windows of a particular thing and we can't find any repeating one then we can just exit that yeah whatever was the max was the max so this is one way in this case uh, string length is 1500 it's possible that uh, we we get till 750 so we do 750 tries which is like kind of like n square only in a way what else can we do can we know beforehand if a particular substring exists later on No, okay, then I think we'll be going till not n by 2 actually, not n by 2, it will be n only for n, n range 1 to len of s, right? We choose it, we try to check in windows or in characters. We'll have a dictionary again. So word map and or we can even have a set boundary. And now what we'll try to do is we'll go through words in that range. So for I in range, we'll start from zero, right? So uh it has to be more like we can first put in dot add uh, n character right so it's like s of 0 till n so if, if it was 1 then we are adding only zeroth character which is one character which is fine and then we are going to run uh, this from first character onward in that case like if fifth got added then we are going to run it from n onwards uh, to length of s minus minus n minus n or minus n plus or minus n minus n minus n would be minus 1 
why are we going till there only this is the starting point Yeah, this would be the starting point then. The zeroth thing now. Then this would go from one now, Baba. Yep. We're gonna pick up S of I to I plus N. Correct. And we're gonna check if current word is this if current in word map uh, we're gonna set max max found to zero right now if current is in word map we can set max found to n right because we found something or repeating of n and then we can kind of break this loop and when we, whenever we break this loop, it's going to move on to the next turn. If we are not able to, yeah, uh, for that given window, if max found not equal to n right now, or if max found is less than n, then we can kind of uh, break from here also and return max found. Will this work? <laughs> seems to uh, we have not done try run we have not done test cases we have not done complexity analysis so we'll do all of that let's just check with certain uh, certain inputs so before that we do that here also it's working maybe it was an easy question so one good thing that I do is I, I hide the difficulty of the question. You can't see the difficulty because that makes it more interview like I have no clue and I will give whatever would be my best try. Because as soon as you see something easy, right, so see for A we got uh, the wrong output. So let's try to debug this case, what should happen. So we'll go inside, max on would zero and would go from one to then the face. Uh, and then it's gonna check word map is going to become empty set word map means it's gonna add s of uh, one which would just be a right and uh, hey we are not adding things to word map only that's gonna cause a problem now how how did it even work like everything everywhere it was starting with those characters that's why it worked uh, so we're gonna add to word map the current thing but this doesn't make sense you have to add it afterwards yeah now let's see what's happening so you pick up an A then it goes from I 1 to whatever 1 to 2 it'll check it'll come up as A only I'll check it's found max found will become one so it's gonna break this loop uh, one is less than zero no uh, so it's not breaking this it becomes two length of s is by the way five uh, so now it gets to two it's gonna pick up the first two which is double a uh, for double a also it checks it's able to find uh, for triple uh, for three times when it gets to n equals to three it gives the first three a's and then it's starting from i equal to one and we are doing one two one plus three which is four so this guys right that also exists so it will set it to three then we're gonna go ahead four so zero two zero one two three will get set now when you go to one one two one plus n n is four 5 which is 
so this should give four times a only right oh this is the problem i think length of x is 5 5 minus 4 becomes 1 plus 1 Now let me do a case where the repeating string is not at the not at the starting. So maybe this is db and then you have b a b a let's see if we get two. Oh we are getting two. How about this case? Say d this would db and then you have say c a a b and this is also c C A B. So now it's B C A. So it should be four. Hmm. Okay, this is working. So from a complexity perspective, what's happening here is you're doing n, and you're doing again kind of like n only because n, this n can take any value. So it's n square solution right now. Ah. Uh, maybe there would have been a better way this is like is this kind of a brute force way not sure anyway let's try to submit maybe it'll give time limit exceeded no this is actually one of the fastest solution wow okay did not expect that at all it's also fast from this aspect okay cool i guess we have solved it in uh, nicely bye